All right, another exciting day for Soccer City. The Timbers are back at Providence Park, and so are the fans. Our Travis Tyke also standing by at Providence Park. Hey there, Travis. So it's not going to be at full capacity, but still great to have fans in the seats, and I bet it's still going to be pretty loud. It already has been pretty loud. Jimmy Charles scored a couple of goals, and I promise you the only reason I know that is because the crowd let me know, even though I'm all the way out here. So the fans are limited to 15% capacity, so it's a little less than 4,000, but despite those numbers, those roars are still mighty strong. It's exactly how it should be. It's been 13 months since Timbers fans have been able to watch their team live at Providence Park, and for some, the return means a little more. After attending the last Timbers match that had fans in March of 2020, Christine and Nate Freeze got engaged, so tonight marks their first game back as newlyweds. Oh, we're super excited, super excited. Super yeah. excited. It's one of the things we've missed most, I yeah. think, in Portland. So yeah, I guess this was uh, absolutely yeah, it's surreal. super exciting. Yeah. Can't believe it's been, you know, over a year at this point. There have been a lot of fans with pretty cool stories. You know, we spoke with one fan who came from Kansas once he heard that fans would be allowed back into the stadium. A lot of people just very excited to be here again. Maybe a little sense of normal, normalcy kind of setting in. A lot of smiles on faces out here. We're going to have full postgame coverage tonight at 10 and 11. And according to those roars that I heard, you're going to want to stick around because it sounds like the Timbers are putting up some serious numbers in there. Mm -hmm. Dan and Liz.